Okay, let me see. Hello. Hi, hopefully it's not too late for you guys. Hello, hello, are you guys up? Are you awake? Are you awake? Cause I'm awake, I'm awake. Hi Libra, hello. Hey, how are you? Hi Sagittarius. Hello, hello, hello. Um, hopefully you guys have some time to spare cause unfortunately I'm a night owl, so I like to go live at this time. Normally when you guys see me go live, I'm normally in another country, so the time zone translates to daytime for you, but you know, this is my good time. This is, I'm always live at night. Hi Aquarius, hi Taurus, hello. Um, I wanted to do a podcast, you guys, and it will be recorded so I can, you know, give it to you guys later just in case you want to go to sleep. You do not have to be awake for this. Um, YouTube, uh, I will be putting the zodiac sign order in the description. So if you're looking for your zodiac sign after the video, it'll be in the description, okay? Hi, Scorpio. Hi, Sagittarius. Hi, Facebook. Hi, TikTok. Hi, Instagram. Hopefully, you three are doing okay. Hopefully, you three are doing okay. So, this podcast is going to be about the triggers, the tri the trials, tribulations, and triggers of your zodiac sign. If it's okay to date your zodiac sign, what triggers come with dating your zodiac sign and what you need to look forward to or a lack thereof of what to expect, you know, longevity-wise with the zodiac sign you want to date because some zodiac signs have a lot of triggers some zodiac signs don't have that many triggers you know they don't really care and then there's those zodiac signs where you don't really know but you're triggering them until you do it okay oh okay i'm sorry aries <laughs> hopefully that didn't trigger you i'm just kidding um Okay, so let's start off with Sagittarius. Let's start off with the trigger zodiac sign, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. And it's not because Sagittarius gave me a gummy bear gift, but maybe because Sagittarius gave me a gummy bear gift. I'm just kidding. Um, so let's talk about the trigger scale of Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is a zodiac sign that has been triggered their whole lives. You know Sagittarius' story. If you don't, you better ask somebody. Sagittarius is a trauma zodiac sign. That's what Sagittarius is. Trauma trauma so what Sagittarius went through is where the triggers you know derived from so you basically have to get Sagittarius to tell you about their life tell you what triggers them Sagittarius would be open and honest to what triggers them and you would just go forward from there Sagittarius is not really somebody to hide what's triggering them it's more so an embarrassment to Sagittarius that they're triggered by something as minimal as what triggered them was in the first place Sagittarius is one of those zodiac signs that are they have a lot of perils they have a lot of parasocial relationships with people they have a lot of weird relationships with people and it's so they don't get triggered Sagittarius would rather have a relationship with you from afar they would rather have a relationship with you that's not that deep so they're not triggered when it's over they're not triggered when you betray them you know Sagittarius is one of those zodiac signs whose, cir whose circle is very small to begin with and it's very small because of how Sagittarius walks through life because how Sagittarius moves they're triggered in that aspect so if they let you into their world just know that you have the power to trigger them because they let you in if Sagittarius let you have a seat at the table, just let you, you know, just know that you have the power to hurt them because they finally gave you that seat at the table. You're invited to that type of environment that Sagittarius set up. Don't ruin your chance. Don't mess up your chance because you don't really get another chance from Sagittarius once they're triggered. Once, you get, once you're the reason Sagittarius has a mental breakdown, you're public enemy number one. But no, Sagittarius' triggers are really just in your face. Like they'll tell you if they do, if they do, um, I just say be respectful to Sagittarius. Sagittarius is not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. If Sagittarius is one of those zodiac signs that's going to therapy, it's even better than that because Sagittarius is working on their triggers. If you have a Sagittarius that's just, you know, out there and, you know, a wild Sagittarius, it may be a little harder to tame than others. But other than that, it's pretty good. 
Um, I could do two questions about Sagittarius and then let's move on to the next zodiac sign on the list, shall we? I'm sorry that it's so late, but you know, this is my time. This is the time where I create a lot of videos. I love to create at night because nobody's awake. It's just me. So I feel like my, my creative juices are flowing because I know that nobody's looking at me. Nobody's, you know, spying on me. You've been trying to get a personal reading from me for the longest. I'm sorry about that. Um, if you go to the link in my profile, you should be able to fill out a little... It's not fill out a form, but I have a website now. So, Oh, drink some water. I'm sorry. Thank you, Cancer. Please remind me to drink water while I'm um, doing the live stream so I stay hydrated, if that's okay. Why does that? Why does Sagittarius self sabotage? Good question. Just let me get some water really quick. So, so Sagittarius self sabotage when it comes to their happiness. Sometimes Sagittarius feels like they don't deserve to be where they are. They don't deserve to be loved the way they should because of what Sagittarius has been through in the past. Sometimes Sagittarius has a goal that they set for themselves. They have a path that they want to go down to live a certain lifestyle. And if it seems like it's too good to be true, Sagittarius is not the most optimistic when it comes to that part. Because Sagittarius would rather, you know, get it, get there themselves. You know, Sagittarius does not want a leg up on life because now Sagittarius feels like they owe you something. Sagittarius feels like they owe you something. And that's not how Sagittarius wants to go. So Sagittarius would rather self-sabotage a certain situation just to say that they can do it themselves, you know? There's you giving Sagittarius a plate of food versus Sagittarius making the plate of food. They'd, they take both. They take both. But at the same time, Sagittarius would be happier if they made it themselves, you know? It just, it hits a little different when they know it came from them and it wasn't a handout because Sagittarius does not want you to feel sorry for them for what they've been through. You just got to know that they've been through a lot, you know? <laughs> um, What would trigger Sagittarius the most? Um, All you have to do is tell Sagittarius that, you know, they're lying to you, call Sagittarius a liar. That's all you really got to do. Just call Sagittarius a liar. Be like, Sagittarius, you lied to me. All you do is lie, Sagittarius. I can never trust anything that's coming out your mouth, Sagittarius. That's going to trigger Sagittarius. You might even fight Sagittarius after that. All you got to do, oh, Sagittarius, you a liar. All you do is lie. <laughs> they be like, what did I lie about? Just name a random situation. Throw a random situation out there. I just feel it's in my spirit, Sagittarius. It's in my spirit. Call Sagittarius a liar. Call him a liar. Um, okay, let's do the next zodiac sign. Next zodiac sign is Aries. Let's talk about Aries and um, the triggering skill that Aries is. So when it comes to Aries and being triggered, Aries isn't really triggered easily. Aries isn't triggered easily. Aries just pretends like they are. And... I don't like that about Aries because Aries like to act like everything upsets them. Like they're just so sensitive. Like, no, just Aries just like to argue. They like to argue. They like to pick at stuff. But Aries is not triggered easily at all. Aries is barely phased in certain situations. A lot of situations, people clam up. They get really tense. Like they choke up. Aries doesn't do none of that. Aries has already been re like Aries is waiting for that moment. Aries is always prepared like, Aries stays ready, so they never have to get ready in a situation. So, you don't really have to worry about triggering Aries. You just have to worry about Aries triggering you. <laughs> okay, let's talk about that. You gotta worry about Aries triggering you. That's what you need to worry about. You're not gonna trigger Aries... <laughs> You're not gonna trigger Aries easily. Like, Aries is not phased by... Like, you guys can go outside and see like the most horrific car crash and you would be like oh my gosh oh my gosh Aries would just be standing there blank face like they've seen a car crash a million times like that like they seen that yesterday Aries is not phased by a lot of things so how you want this to work with Aries is you really want to just be calm you want to be calm and you want to let Aries know that your energy is in calm mode so Aries mirrors that energy because Aries is very good at marrying energy. Aries marries energy without even knowing that they do it. It's just an instinct reaction from Aries because Aries is always ready to, you know, go tit for tat. That's why Aries is one of the petty zodiac signs because if you go low, 
Aries is gonna go low too. You can't be like, oh no, Aries, you are, you know, you're up here, Aries. You shouldn't stoop to their level. Aries is gonna stoop. Aries gonna stoop. Aries is not Aries is not gonna sit on their high horse. Aries will get off the horse, park the horse, <laughs> park the horse. Aries is ready. So you just gotta let Aries know that your energy is always cool, calm, and collected. So Aries has to match that energy. Cause if Aries is on 10 and you're not, Aries just looks foolish. Aries just looks foolish, you know? Aries is not gonna look foolish in front of the world. So that's all you really gotta do. That's all you really gotta do. Um Aries is not gonna be triggered easily. I like Aries in that in that regard. So don't worry about Aries getting triggered. Just worry about Aries triggering you because you need to worry about your mental health with Aries. Don't worry about Aries and mental health. They're good. Worry about your mental health with Aries. That's what you need to take away from this. Um, okay, I could do two questions about Aries. And um yeah, let's go to the next zodiac sign. I could do two questions about Aries. Two questions. Aries are crazy. Yeah. Skip Capricorn and Aquarius. Why don't you like Capricorn and Aquarius? <laughs> My gosh. We didn't even get to Capricorn and Aquarius yet. You already want me to skip them? Um, what trigger is Aries? Um, you you have to laugh at Aries. Laugh at Aries. Like if Aries is mad at something, find it funny. Find the humor in what Aries is going through. Find the humor, okay? All you got to do, when they're angry, just start laughing. Like, it's just, like, you know, it's so it's so little. It's so little to you. It's so little to you. That'll trigger Aries so quickly. I might, I, you know, do it from a distance so you can run. So you can run just in case Aries start walking towards you slowly. You can start running. But, you know, viewers' discretion advice. <laughs> results may vary type of thing but definitely laugh like laugh at aries's face don't laugh in their face don't do that but you know laugh think it's funny um how do i get aries to stay in a relationship longer you have to constantly make a challenge off of aries being there with you you have to constantly give aries challenges so they can, you know, do some maintenance in a relationship. I don't know why Aries is always trying to do maintenance. But Aries doesn't sit still for anything. Aries was the children that didn't go to sleep. Aries is a child that did not go to sleep. Aries the silver tooth kids. You know when it's time to babysit Aries, you got to charge a little extra. That's Aries. So the adult Aries, you really need to give Aries something to do. You know, give them some extracurricular activities in the relationship. So they feel like they're actually making things work. For the relationship. The relationship is worth working on. Because once Aries stops moving, they realize how boring this is, how boring you are. And Aries is going to go to the next adventure. Aries is going to go to the, you know, the next thing. Don't let Aries stop and think and be like, oh, this is boring. Because that's when Aries makes self-sabotaging decisions. And they be like, oh, I don't, want it. I don't want this no more. I just feel like we hit a plateau. Like, it's stale right now. It's not stale. There's just nothing going on, which should be a good thing. It's not a good thing to Aries. It's not a good thing in that. Okay, so time to do the next zodiac sign. Um, Pisces is next. Pisces is next. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, oh, let me do my commercial break. Sorry about that. Commercial break. Hi, my name is Mari, and I do personal astrology readings. If you would like a personal astrology reading from me, we can hop on the phone together. I could do your birth chart for you, or I could do a video just like this for you. The link's in my bio on my profile for a reading. Okay, perfect. Let's do Pisces and triggers. So unfortunately, thank you so much. So unfortunately, Pisces is triggered by a lot of things. Pisces is triggered by a lot of things. We're not going to act like Pisces is just this kumbaya zodiac sign that's tough as nails. And you know, they're super mature. Pisces is mature when they want to be mature. You know, I don't know why Pisces does that. Like Pisces will be coloring for some reason. And then they'll say the most profound thing that makes you think for days like, how did Pisces come up with that, you know, perception of things? Like, Pisces make you think. And then Pisces will go right back to coloring. And then being a kid, they go right back to coloring. Like, they never said that to you. Like, I don't know. Um, but when it comes to Pisces' triggers, it's really the fact that Pisces is so creative and open-minded. 
to the world because Pisces will create new triggers for themselves. You see how crazy that sounds? Pisces will create new triggers for themselves. Like it just, it fresh came, freshly came out. Like it's a new season. New triggers for Pisces. Like it's fresh. Like Pisces is always coming up with new things that they feel should trigger them. Pisces is so weird because you could apologize. <laughs> you could apologize to Pisces about something and Pisces wasn't mad at you. But the fact that you apologize, Pisces is like, oh, you're you're apologizing to me about that. I should be mad, right? I guess I should be mad. And now Pisces is mad at what you apologize for, even though they weren't in the first place. Because they thought about it. That's, oh, okay, I should be mad. So now they're mad. Now that triggered them. Pisces is weird. Pisces is weird. Weird. <laughs> okay, weird. But I feel like the moment you clarify something, you have to stop the trigger from forming. That's what you need to do. You need to stop the trigger from forming in Pisces's head so it's not a reality. You gotta, you gotta go back in time. I don't, just, I don't know. But yeah, Pisces, they definitely created new triggers. You know them species of animals that be new and you like, when did this just come out? That's Pisces' triggers. It just came out. Just came out. <laughs> Okay, I could do two qu I could do two questions about Pisces and then let's move on to the next zodiac sign. <laughs> do I like Pisces? I hate all your zodiac signs. I don't like none of y'all. <coughs> I don't like none of y'all zodiac signs. Y'all communities is, is you know, y'all communities are a little toxic to me. A little toxic to me. Um what would make Pisces can Pisces tolerate drama? Yes. If it's creative enough for Pisces to feel it's worth staying. Pisces is one of those zodiac signs where they want that Disneyland happy ending. I'll always associate a Disneyland happy ending with Pisces. So if it's drama filled, but it ends in good spirits. Like if you guys are toxic, but you know that you love Pisces and Pisces knows that you love them. Pisces is going to stay because number one, that's a good storyline. That's a good storyline. And two, you know, Pisces feels like it adds, you know, layers to the relationship. You guys are not perfect, but Pi Pisces always want to try and change you anyway. So Pisces is going to try and change you from being a drama person to being just the person they need. Just the person they need. Give Pisces space. I don't know. Pisces is a little clingy. Pisces is a little clingy. I don't know if you giving them space will work. Um, why do Pisces lie and cry all the time? Or at the same time? <laughs> Well, Pisces lies and cries at the same time, I would think, because, well, <laughs> I would think because if, if it's a toxic Pisces, then they'll do that simply because they're the, they're the like, you know, they're the professional victim in the relationship, I guess. I wouldn't. I, I know that Pisces lies when they want to, but crying at the same time is crazy. Crazy. Uh, What triggers Pisces? So what would trigger Pisces is you not listening to their creative ideas. That's number one. If Pisces is trying to tell you about a dream that they had, Pisces is trying to tell you about something that's very ins insignificant, but it means something to Pisces, that would trigger Pisces. That a trigger Pisces. If they really trying to take you there, they trying to take you there. Like, listen, this is my idea. This is what I want to do in life. And you just dismissing it as if it's delusional. Like, you know, they're stupid. Pisces gets so mad at you. Might get blocked. You might get blocked. If Pisces is really trying to take you there in their head, trying to show you things, and you just like, uh-uh. Like, Pisces not going to like that at all. Okay. On to the next zodiac sign. It's time to do Leo. It's time to do Leo and Leo's triggers. So Leo's triggers, a lot of things that Leo are triggered by are really internal. Leo's handle a lot of things very well. I don't think in a relationship you'll trigger Leo easily. I think Leo is just very dramatic. I think Leo is just very dramatic. Leo plays a lot. They throw a lot of tantrums because Leo's a royalty zodiac sign. So you get in the royal tantrums. You get in the over-the-top everything. That's why Leo dressed to the nine all the time. 
That's, it's just how Leo operates. Now, their triggers are more internal. And how you trigger Leo, how Leo is triggered is really by things that they have realized growing up. So Leo could have a bad relationship with a family member. That would trigger Leo all the time. All the time. When it comes to a certain family member or a certain friend that Leo knows for a long time, that's when Leo gets triggered immediately. Immediately. Um, it's always that. It's always stuff that happens at home. So if you're in a relationship with Leo, I don't really think you need, you need to worry about Leo being triggered. You just have to worry about Leo being overly obnoxious. Like Leo is always too much all the time, but that's how Leos are. How their triggers are set up is really just, you know, when it's time to meet their family, Leo's going to be triggered. When it's time to meet their family, when it's time for Leo to talk about a past event, because Leos are always loyal to their family without fail. Even when they shouldn't be, like some of the family members be taking advantage of Leo all the time. They be taking super advantage of Leo and Leo don't know that they're being taken advantage of, but they feel it in their heart. And that's why they trigger because they're not trying to face reality. And so when it comes to like meeting their family, you know, meeting friends, like Leo is always curated a certain life for themselves. And when that life or that certain thing that they cur curated is challenged, Leo's perception of reality starts to be challenged. And Leo starts to have a panic attack. Leo starts to really go through it. So I don't really think you have anything to worry about with dating Leo. Just understand that when it comes to certain stages in their life, it's not going to be easy. You're either with Leo or you're not. And if you're not aware that Leo's being triggered, then you will be a part of the problem because you should have been there for them. You should have been there for them in that type of sense. That's all you got to do because that's where your loyalty needs to come in in that aspect. Now, why Leo would trigger you in an instance, Leo is really going to make you do things for them that feel like servant work. <laughs> that feel like servant work. Leo loves when their partner does servant work. You know, if you want Leo back, you can't just ask Leo to come back. You have to beg. You have to grovel. You have to kiss feet. You have to kiss feet. Leo's over the top. So you definitely have to do servant work. So if you good at cleaning, you good at cooking, you got that maid or butler outfit, butler outfit in the closet, put it on. Because that's, that's Leo's thing. Like, Leo be so happy that you got that maid outfit on, that butler outfit on. Because look at you. You're so cute. You so look you look so good in that. <laughs> you look so good in that. Keep wearing that all the time. You know, if you can fan Leo with that giant leaf, with that giant leaf as they eating those expensive grapes from the store, those expensive grapes from the store, and you fan Leo with that leaf, that's the Leo's happiest moment. That's self-care for Leo. Self-care. And if you do it, that would bring you so <laughs> And if you do it for Leo, that would bring you guys so much closer. So much closer. But no, Leo's triggers are really just internal. It's really just internal. Um, Leo would probably tell you what their triggers are if you ask them, like, about certain people. Because Leos can't really hide how they feel a lot of times because it is show in their body language. Leo is a very big body language zodiac sign. So just look at Leo's body language as you talk to them. They don't really give it away in their face, but the way that they sit, the way that they're poised and like postured and stuff, that's a dead giveaway for Leo. Dead giveaway for Leo. Okay, I can do two questions about Leo and then let's go to the next Zodiac sign. Thank you for reminding me to drink water. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for the gifts. Thank you guys for being awake. Thank y'all for being awake. I know y'all will be asleep. I know y'all should be asleep, but I'm a night owl, so I'm gonna be up. I'm glad that you guys are up too. Thank you for being here, Facebook. Thank you for being here, TikTok. Thank you for being here, Instagram. Um, Let me see. Why do Leo's Leo? Okay, that's a very good question. That's a very good question. Thank you so much. Um, so Leo's Leo because they're Leos, you know? They they Leo in. They're Leo in. I don't know if that was a good example. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what would trigger Leo easily? Oh, you want to trigger Leo easily? Um, 
So unfortunately, this is very ironic because you have to call Leo a liar. You have to call Leo out on being a liar. You have to say that Leo was never there for you. That's number one. Tell tell Leo that they were never there for you. They never had your back. You were, you know, you were going through this situation where everybody was up against you and Leo didn't have your back not even once. Leo actually turned their back on you. Tell Leo that they never had your back. They never had your back. <laughs> tell him they never had your back. Leo would be so mad because num- one thing that Leo prides themselves on is being there for their people, you know, for people that are important to them. Leo is always there for people that are important to them. Say that they were never there for you. Say that you went through something alone and the person you thought about that would have your back the most was Leo and they never had your back. Just say that. That's all you got to say. All you got to say. Um, why do Leos trying to act like they're popular people? Um, Leos, Leos are royalty zodiac signs. So naturally, Leo puts themselves in the position of leader. Leo puts themselves in the position of a leader. Leo does not do background characters because that's beneath Leo. Leo feels like that's beneath Leo. So they only really take main character vibes. They only really do main characters. You know, you try to give Leo a role to be, a, a, you know, a background character. Leo might decline that role because that's not what Leo wants. Leo wants the biggest role there is and it better be dramatic and it better be, there better be a scene where Leo can cry to show the audience that, they, that they're diverse. That's what Leo wants. So when it comes to popularity, Leo's going to go for the popular role in every aspect of Leo's life, especially if they're confident at an early stage. It's a little toxic. Leo's one of those zodiac signs where if they're talking to you, if they're talking to you and they're flirting with you, it's because they know they can get you. When Leo's flirting with you, it's because they know they can get you. And if you reject Leo, that's when Leo starts to turn into a predator low-key. Leo turns into a whole predator. If you don't want Leo, they turn into a whole predator. Because <laughs> how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? The way Leo will be up in your face, like no personal space, like you smell it all of Leo and they just up in your face. <laughs> I know you want me. You know, that's how they talk to you. It's not even how's your day. I know you want me. I know you wanted my number, right? I know you wanted my number, right? Had nothing to do with you. What your name is. Here's my number. Bye. Okay, get away from me. Like Leo, they just missing you after dismissing. You're dismissed. It's like, okay, Leo, thanks. <laughs> cool. Um, okay, so let's do Capricorn. Capricorn is next. Capricorn is next. And you know, Leo, like, you know, they're the, Leo's the zodiac sign that looks like royalty, too. So they definitely look down their nose at you. Like, Leo, they do it perfectly. It's like Leo's bred for it. They look down their nose at you when they feel like they're better than you or you're beneath them. They'd be like, like, Leo, like, why do y'all do that to people, Leo? They definitely look down their nose at you. Like, the snob that they are, they'd be like, <laughs> oh, I don't eat there. I don't eat that. Um, okay, so let's do Capricorn. So when it comes to Capricorn's triggers, unfortunately, Capricorn's triggers, there's a lot of Capricorn triggers. There's a lot. There's a lot. And the worst part about Capricorn's triggers is they're not going to tell you what they are. They're not going to tell you what they are. Capricorn is not going to tell you what they are. And so you just are pleasantly surprised when Capricorn snaps at you. They snap on you. They, you know, cut you out of their life. They disappear. A lot of times Capricorn's triggers are something that they're, you know, they're ashamed of. I think it's their Capricorn's ashamed of. Like, a lot of times, Capricorns don't process certain things because they feel like it's too painful, and they'd rather work on themselves. You know, they'll go to the gym. They'll work really hard at their job. They'll make more money. Capricorn will do everything but face certain realities that have to do with them. So, it's so weird because you guys would be vulnerable with each other, and you guys would really be having a deep conversation, and it's time for Capricorn to open up to you, and they don't. They don't. Capricorns don't say anything. You know, it's really not, it's really surface level trauma. Like it's not really anything you needed to know to bring you guys closer. And it's, it's really weird. Like I feel bad for Capricorn. Like why does Capricorn not process certain things? 
And it makes it to where you can't really love Capricorn or you don't feel like Capricorn loves you the way that they should because they're still processing their triggers and trauma. And instead of telling you what their triggers and trauma are, they'd rather just be mad at you when you trigger them in the first place. And now you have to learn what Capricorn's trigger is by process of elimination. <laughs> oh, I made you mad, Capricorn. That's one of your triggers. Okay, let me write it down. And now you just have to be scared that you're going to trigger them next and you don't know what the tri- <laughs> You don't know what the next trigger is going to be. It's like surprise. You know, it's best that you ask like people in Capricorn's life what triggers Capricorn, you know, get a little cheat sheet in. You know, work your way into the triggers. That's all you really need to do. But Capricorn has a lot of triggers and they're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you. Capricorns are bipolar. Capricorns are emotionally detached. Capricorns are emotionally detached zodiac signs. So it seems like Capricorn's bipolar, but it's really just their emotional detachment setting in. Capricorn can be very mean. Capricorn's a very mean zodiac sign when they're emotionally detached because there's no emotions in how they speak to you. They don't really take in how you feel when they speak to you because they're in that emotionally detached state. And that's really derived from how they work. If Capricorn's working really hard, if Capricorn is burnt out, they're not the same person because Capricorn's stressed. So anybody can get it when they're stressed because you talking to them is not what they want right now. They're not telling you not to talk to them, but they trying to signal you with their brain to not talk to them today. And if you still want to talk to them, you within the space of danger zone. You entered the danger zone. So whatever happens, happens. <laughs> um, okay, I could do two questions about Capricorn and then let's go to the next zodiac sign. Um, <laughs> we have sociopathic tendencies. I mean, I guess Capricorn. Um, what would trigger Capricorn? Can you give me some examples? Oh, okay, sure. So Capricorn is triggered by, you know, this is small, but Capricorn is really triggered by public embarrassment. Capricorn is triggered by public embarrassment. If you embarrass Capricorn in public, that is one of the easiest triggers that will get you cut off. What Capricorn does not like is unwanted attention that is brought to them when they're just trying to enjoy a setting, you know, a controlled setting. They're out in public. You know, they're trying to dress good. If you are actively causing a scene because you want attention and it's the wrong type of attention and it's associated with Capricorn and they think that Capricorn acts like you do, the way Capricorn would distance themselves, you will never see Capricorn again. Never, never. <laughs> Never. That's an easy way to trigger Capricorn. The way Capricorn would look at you be like, oh, I had such a good night and your phone is blocked before you even got out the car. And the, Uber, the Capricorn telling the Uber to just speed off, to just start to hit the floor it. you like, oh, I had such a good day. And it's not Sydney. And you looking back at the car and the driver like speeded off. Capricorn gave him a $10 tip to speed off. Yeah. Um, Let me see. Do they sabotage their relationships? Yes. Capricorns definitely sabotage their relationships. Capricorn has the worst love Capricorn has the worst love life out of any zodiac sign. So a lot of times when it feels too good to be true for Capricorn, Capricorn likes to test to make sure that it's real and they're not dreaming. They want one of those pinch moments. And unfortunately, it's a self-sabotaging moment for Capricorn. It is. There are some Capricorns who don't love at all. They gave up on love and they would never love again. So if you try to love Capricorn and it's not what they were looking for, even though it's what they feel like they wanted, they will still leave you because they don't want love right now. You saying that you love Capricorn is the exact reason Capricorn has to leave you right now. But if you didn't say I love you to Capricorn, they probably would have stayed in that relationship longer because they enjoyed your company. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes it's i love capricorn's love life i feel like it's super chaotic but i think that is so good for reality tv if capricorn just wrote a book if capricorn just wrote a book i would read the book capricorn you would make so much money like start writing capricorn what are you doing 
You know that last relationship was tragic. We want to know. I want to know. <laughs> okay, let's do the next Zodiac sign. But first, let me do my commercial break. Let me do my commercial break. Hi, my name is Mari, and I do personal private astrology readings. If you would like a personal astrology reading from me, we can hop on the phone together. I could do your birth chart for you, or I could do a video just like this for you. The link in my bio on my profile. Okay, cool. It's time to do Taurus. It's time to do Taurus. It's time to do Taurus. Are you guys reminding me to drink water? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all reminding me to drink water? I feel like you are. I just want to make sure. Instagram, I think that you reminded me to drink water. TikTok, y'all reminded me to drink water. Facebook, are you guys reminding me to drink water? Facebook, I'm looking at you. Okay, you are? Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> Don't be scared now, Taurus. Don't be scared now, Taurus, because you were saying do Taurus. You were saying do Taurus. We about to do Taurus. Don't be scared. So when it comes to Taurus and their triggers... Taurus tries to act like they're not triggered by anything, but Taurus has very clear, like crystal clear triggers that you would be aware of when you start to date them. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. But Taurus is so stubborn. They, oh, I don't have no triggers. Like Taurus is very calm because, you know, Taurus is an earth sign. So they're supposed to be mature and older than you and wiser than you. Like the earth signs all feel like they are. Taurus's triggers are so easy to see, so easy to see. You like, like, like there's no green flags here when it comes to Taurus. There's nothing but red flags when it comes to their triggers because Taurus gets extremely angry, and Taurus is a vengeful zodiac sign. So when you trigger Taurus, Taurus takes it personally. You could be triggering Taurus by accident. They're going to take it personally on purpose. And it's time for them to get revenge on you because why did you trigger them? You can be none the wiser. You're still learning. You still going to pay. You're still a price to pay. You're not going to pay today. You're probably not going to pay tomorrow, but you're going to pay someday. And Taurus is going to get what they feel is their lick back. But really, Taurus is being irrational, Taurus. You're being irrational. Um, Taurus is one of the zodiac signs that are, the, you know, they're the bull zodiac signs. So their horns are very clear to see, very clean to see. You knew when Taurus is about to charge at you. When Taurus is one of the zodiac signs that actually see red. Taurus actually sees red. You know, everybody's like, oh, I see red. And you know how lame that is and how corny it is. Taurus actually sees red. When Taurus say it, I believe them. Um, and it's very easy, very easy. Very easy. When Taurus gets quiet, when Taurus don't want to talk no more, Taurus is the funniest zodiac sign. When Taurus not, when Taurus is not trying to laugh, Taurus not trying to laugh, they get real silent. Because one thing about Taurus is they like to be silent so they can plot. That's, they plotting. They plotting. And you just want to make sure that you are in a good state of mind, that you can handle how irrational Taurus can be sometimes. Because Taurus is one of the zodiac signs where they will trigger you. Taurus would trigger you. You don't have to worry about triggering Taurus because it's easy to see when you are so you can avoid it. You have to worry about Taurus triggering you. Taurus is one of those zodiac signs. You got to worry about show mental health with Taurus. <coughs> okay, F what you try to do with them, trying to help them. You need to worry about you. You need to worry about you because Taurus will trigger you. And it's not pretty because Taurus thinks it's funny when they trigger you too. Taurus be giggling. They be giggling. Taurus think it's so funny. It's so cute. When you upset, oh, did they do that? They're sorry, but then when you trigger Taurus, it's not cute. It's not cute. When you do it, when you match the energy, it's not cute no more, huh? <laughs> there is a price to pay. So you just just be careful, okay? Just be careful, okay? I say have, you know, uh, Zodiac sign insurance. Have Zodiac sign insurance. I don't know what that means, but get it anyway. I think it'll help you. Um, okay, so I could do two questions. <laughs> I could do two questions about Taurus, and then let's go to the next zodiac sign. You don't have any issues with Taurus? I love that for you. Um, is Taurus women different from men? Yes, Taurus women and men are totally different. You know, creatures, hideous creatures of the deep. Um, I've done a YouTube video on the zodiac sign genders and which zodiac sign gender is more toxic. So you guys can watch that if you want to. But the toxic version of Taurus actually goes to the males. Male Tauruses are a lot more toxic than women Tauruses are 
simply because them Tauruses are both vampires, but the women vampires, Tauruses, they actually let go of their prey. The men don't. If that male Taurus wanted you and they said that they loved you and stuff like that, now you a cheerleader cheering him on so he can find his new love interest. He not letting you know that you're a cheerleader. He makes you think that you just cheering for him and you his number one cheerleader. No, you're a cheerleader, period. Okay, you should have you should have looked at the contract that you signed. You thought you was cheering for your Taurus. That's everybody's. <laughs> That's everybody Taurus. You was a cheerleader. Dot. Period. Dot. Um, the Taurus women, they actually let you go. Like after, you know, Taurus women, they still gonna use you. They still gonna use and abuse you and waste your time. But they actually gonna let you go when they find the other person that they want because they can only really focus on one love interest at a time because the women Taurus, they take love a little too, a little too seriously. But the males don't. The males don't. They run very good game. And... Yeah, that's why they're more toxic. They're more toxic. I think that, you know, they deserve more jail time. Tauruses need to go to jail. They need to go to jail. But the male Tauruses, they get they get a, a longer sentence in my book. Um, What's something that can easily trigger Taurus? If you're not funny, if you're not humorous, if you don't get the joke, Taurus is very triggered because Taurus is already, you know, you know, always laughing at things. Taurus is always funny. If you don't understand Taurus's humor, that's a trigger. That's a trigger. If you can't laugh with Taurus, if you, you know, because if you can make Taurus laugh, you can make Taurus do a lot of things. If you're not making Taurus laugh, if you can't understand the joke, that's easily dismissible. Easily. Because you're not the one. You're not the one. Oh, you didn't find that funny? You laugh. Taurus laughs before everybody else laughs. You can't even laugh after Taurus laughs. Taurus is not funny. Well. <laughs> Taurus, be nice. <laughs> Taurus, don't say that. Um, But yeah, so that's that a trigger, Taurus. Okay, on to the next zodiac sign. It's time to do Gemini. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to turn on the air because it's starting to get a little hot in here. I just want to make sure that the air does not make a lot of noise because I don't I don't want background noise for you guys. I want you guys to be able to hear me clearly. No background noise, please. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so it's time to do Gemini. So Gemini is one of those zodiac signs that are triggered at random times. Unfortunately for you, you are at an unfair advantage when it comes to Gemini's triggers because Gemini does not process triggers normally. I repeat, Gemini does not process their triggers normally. You could trigger Gemini and you know you trigger Gemini and you, you you know you trigger Gemini and Gemini is not phased by the fact that you triggered them. They're not phased. They're, why are you so mad? It's not that big of a deal. You know, I'm okay. I, I'm, I, can, I'm, I can survive it. Let Gemini sit on that trigger for at least a week. Give it two weeks. The way Gemini is triggered by what you did two weeks later and they want blood and they want blood. The way Gemini will come at you. Oh, I thought about it. I'm mad. There's no time limit on being triggered. The way Gemini will cuss you. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you have to do a lot to get Gemini to not think about what you did to them. So you guys could just move on. But Gemini is one of those zodiac signs where in the moment... It's not that serious. It's not that serious. But Gemini is an intellectual zodiac sign. So if they ponder on it and they think about it long enough and they know it was bigger than what it was and that's why you apologize, oh, you got to apologize again. You got to do it again. Run the apology back. Because Gemini didn't hear you the first time. They didn't understand why you apologized the first time. Why are you sorry again? Like, Gemini, they do a lot. They do a lot. And it's so weird because you know exactly what Gemini, you know exactly what you did to trigger them. You know, leave it to Gemini. It wasn't that big of a deal. But it's going to be a big deal if they decide it is later once they process it. You see how problematic that is? <laughs> you see how problematic that is? That's so bad. That's so bad. I don't know. Like, you have to have an apology in advance, I guess. Start writing your apology letter after you trigger them because you know you're going to have to really apologize later. Just do a quick, oh, I'm sorry, Gemini, first. And then write that real apology later. 
write the real apology later because that's when you gonna need it that's when you gonna need it like gemini and then gemini does not pull any stops they gonna come at you as if it's fresh like it's not two weeks later for gemini it's still real to gemini it happened that same day it happened that same day Gemini woke up one morning mad and now you got to deal with that. But yeah, Gemini's triggers are so interesting to me because they don't really, you know, they don't process it. They don't process it. I guess if you have a Gemini that, that does process their triggers, I love that for you because you found a perfect Gemini, a Gemini that's not broken, a Gemini that's not broken. Or maybe that is the broken Gemini because that's the, you know, that's the latter. But definitely find a Gemini that can process their triggers quickly. That's what you want to look for. Okay, I can do two questions about Gemini and then let's go to the next zodiac sign. <laughs> Gemini is a real delusional. Right, I think it's the multiple personalities that Gemini had. The personality that Gemini had in the first place was not triggered, but the right personality find it, found it offensive, found it wildly offensive. Um... Why do Geminis lie so much? Because Geminis are good at it. Geminis are very good at lying. They're very good at lying. Gemini is one of those liar zodiac signs where you wouldn't even tell that they lied to you because they're so... You know, Gemini is one of those zodiac signs I would push into real estate. I would just push Gemini into real estate. The way Gemini will work at a call center and get all those sales. Because the way Gemini can switch up their accent. Gemini can give themselves an accent. If they're on the phone with you and they're a male Gemini and you're also a male Gemini, they will make their voice sound less threatening so you don't feel emasculated. And if they are a woman Gemini, they will make their voice sound more soothing so you'll listen to them longer. Like, they be, Gemini's be playing a lot of game. Okay, for Gemini to be the most hated Zodiac sign, they're never single. <laughs> they're never single. For Gemini to be the most hated and they're toxic, they always got somebody on their arm. They always got a family. <laughs> they always got a family. Gemini always got somebody on the side. I don't know. I feel like the lies that Gemini has, it gets them a lot of things. It gets them a lot of things. And you know, if you are being a good person in life, you're not rewarded for being a good person. You're not rewarded for being a good person unless it's karma. But you know the people who are being bad and stuff like that, they're still living good lives till the de till this day. And you've never been rewarded for being such a good person your whole life. Gemini was doing everything they wanted to do. Gemini was living life to the fullest. And they still have a certain lifestyle that they want being them. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like they be lying, but they're good at lying. Now, if we talk about Libra and Leo's lies, those lies are not the best lies in the world. They're not the best lies in the world. But Gemini's lies, if they said they have five, if they said they were born with six fingers, I believe Gemini. I believe Gemini. Keep going, Gemini. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? Um, I'm glad that you're here. Thank you for being here. Um... I've missed you more. I apologize. I'll st I'm going to start going live every day. I'm going to start going live every day. And then after this live stream, I'm going to post it on YouTube. And I want us to do a Zodiac sign trivia. I don't know if you guys noticed, but you're going to be getting 24 videos a day. You're going to be getting 24 videos a day because I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I want to take this, you know, this Zodiac sign career seriously. So y'all get in 24 videos a day four videos every four hours you're never gonna run out of mari content you'll always have new content to watch and then you'll get to see me live as well if you feel like it's too much videos i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you enjoy <laughs> you don't really have a choice in the matter what you gonna do on follow me the scam accounts gonna make sure you see those videos the scam accounts of me gonna make sure you see those videos um what can trigger gemini easily so Geminis are easily triggered by pressure, by pressure. If you try to force Gemini to do something they did not want to do, um, that triggers Gemini a lot faster than anything else. Like Gemini is really just trying to exist 
and they don't want to put a lot of rules and restrictions on things. And if you try to force Gemini to make it, like you try to make decisions for them and like put Gemini in a corner and stuff like that, it triggers Gemini a lot because it's control that you didn't need to bestow, you didn't need to bestow on them, you know? If you wanted to be a control freak, you could be a control freak in the corner, but don't rope Gemini into your control freak nature. Okay, time to do the next zodiac sign. Thank you for reminding me to drink water. I really appreciate it. Oh, the control freak itself is next. Virgo, you're here. I was just talking about control freaks, Virgo, and now we about to talk about you. Good job, Virgo. <laughs> we was just doing the segue to talk about you, Virgo. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Okay, so let's talk about Virgo. And Virgos are control freaks. They are. I will not apologize. I will not apologize. Um, so what triggers Virgo is their lack of control. Their lack of control. If Virgo does not have control of a certain situation, if Virgo feels like they're failing at life, if Virgo feels like everything they're doing up to a certain point is not measuring up to how they wanted it to be, that is what triggers Virgo. Immediately. Immediately. Like if Virgo, because Virgo is one of the cleanest zodiac signs. Virgo is one of those zodiac signs that was squeaky clean, and they went in the shower and they in there for thirty minutes. And Virgo's in there for thirty minutes. Virgo, you went in clean and you in there for thirty minutes. If you don't get out, if you don't get like you running out all the hot water, like like Virgo just be annoying. But they're definitely in their certain Zoom when it comes to what they want to do for themselves. And so a lot of times the perfectionist nature that is Virgo takes over so what you want to do is make sure that virgo is not overdoing their controlling tendencies because virgo can't control everything and once they start to realize that there's you know restrictions on what they can and cannot do that is when their reality is threatened like their very existence is threatened so virgo's controlling nature is their control and that is their trigger at the same time um, if you're trying to point out that Virgo's not doing certain things, you're trying to point out that Virgo is wrong in certain areas, that Virgo really tried their best to be right in, that can be a trigger as well. That could be a trigger as well. I feel like Virgo's very easily triggered at that point. Like if we added stuff on, Virgo's very easily triggered. Very easily triggered. Um, a lot of times Virgo wants to help you, which I love about Virgo, but that will trigger other people in Virgo's life because Virgo is always trying to help people that cannot help themselves. Like Virgo is always trying to spoon feed people life. Like Virgo loves being a superhero nobody asked for and they always stay in toxic relationships the longest. So not only is Virgo being triggered by certain things, oh, have a good night. Thank you for being here. Not only is Virgo being triggered by certain things, but watching Virgo go through certain situations in their life triggers people in their life at the same time. And they say, that, no, Virgo, I'm tired of you being a superhero, Virgo. You know that person is... You trying to fix that person. You trying to be Bob the Builder, Virgo. That person was broken on purpose. That That's just how they are. That's just how they are. Um... But no, that's that's all it is with Virgo. It's not too complex. It doesn't really go too deep. Virgo's triggers are very surface level triggers. Very surface level triggers. Virgo's built their life a certain way. Virgo's built their entire personality a certain way. And when you are constantly trying to break the very existence of Virgo's reality, that triggers Virgo. That's a threat to the system. That's a threat to the system. Okay, I could do two questions about Virgo. Two questions about Virgo. And then let's go to the next zodiac sign. Um, Virgos are triggered over and uh, over ungrateful people. Okay, valid. How do you trigger Virgo easily? Okay, so have Virgo do something for you. Have Virgo do something for you. And then just mess mess it up. Mess it up. Be like, oh, Virgo, I really wanted somebody to make this for me. I really wanted this cake or something like that. That's a very hard cake to make. 
and Virgo being the superhero that they are, they'll try to make it for you. Because, like, oh, let's do it together. I'll try to do it for you. And then just mess up the cake. Drop the cake as you walk in out the door. Be like, oops, and just drop it. Drop it. Like, and you just watch Virgo's eye twitch a little bit. That triggers Virgo so easily. Like, ask Virgo to do something for you and not be grateful at all. Just mess it up. Just mess it up. You know, have Virgo really help you with something. And, gen you know, all you got to do. All you got to do. Um, have Virgo clean up and then come back to a messy home. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> have Virgo really clean up the house and then like make it all dirty when they come back. Virgo may not come back again. Hey, how are you? Um, are Virgos clingy? I wouldn't say Virgos are clingy. Virgos are not very clingy zodiac signs. Um, Virgos are only clingy when they're in a relationship with you and they like having you around. They really need to like having you around because Virgo goes from being this, I don't need anybody, don't touch, don't touch me. Like Virgos are very snobby zodiac sign and they feel like nobody's good enough for them. So when you're good enough for Virgo and you pass, oops, sorry. When you're good enough for Virgo and you pass all of Virgo's background checks, then Virgo wants everything to do with you. They like everything about you. Everything about you. That's all you got to do. Okay, time to go to the next Zodiac sign. Um, let's do my commercial break first, okay? Hi, my name is Mari, and I do personal private astrology readings. If you like a personal astrology reading from me, we got up on the phone together. I could do your birth chart for you, or I could do a video just like this for you. The link's in my bio on my profile. So up next is Cancer. We're going to talk about Cancer. Um, let's talk about Cancer's triggers and if it's easy to trigger Cancer or not. Get, get some water. Yes, because my nose is starting to get a little plugged. Whew. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Virgo. Oh my gosh. I understand why you wouldn't want to give him money anymore. Um, okay, so when it comes to Cancer and Cancer's triggers, Cancers are zodiac signs that are not easily triggered. Believe it or not, Cancers are very good actors and actresses. Cancers are one of those zodiac signs, they're not triggered easily. Cancer is very in control of their emotions. You know, dealing with the most emotional zodiac sign, Cancer knows when to turn their emotions on and when to turn it off. A lot of times, you have to really try to hurt cancer to trigger cancer. You have to make a very decent effort to trigger them. And then cancer will let you know you triggered them because they're always letting you know how they feel. You'll know when you trigger cancer faster than cancer knows that you trigger cancer because they're always letting you know how something makes them feel. So cancers are very upfront and honest with their feelings. So it's easier than other zodiac signs who are not really letting you know that you triggered them. Cancer will let you know. Cancer will let you know. Like, you'll get a written letter, a written letter letting you know, hey, this is what you did to me. Now, where things get interesting is the levels that cancer can be triggered. If you trigger cancer, like, level one, you have to apologize. That's all you need to do. If you trigger cancer level two with intent, you have you have to pay for it. Cancer is going to make you pay for it because you made them feel some type of way. It took them a long time to resort back to normal. And now you have to pay. If it's letter level three trigger where you make cancer cry, now cancer has to make you feel pain of sorts because you made them feel pain. Like it's an eye for an eye with cancer. And that level three trigger is very dangerous simply because cancer does not stop until they see the pain in your eyes the way you made them feel. They need to see it in your eyes to know that the job is done and stuff like that. And that's where cancer starts to be really manipulative and stuff like that. So if you're trying to trigger cancer, you need to realize that there's consequences. You know, you mess around and find out. You mess around and find out. That's cancer. You know, because at first, you guys can have a conversation about it and it's fine. But if you're doing it where words cannot explain the amount of pain you tried to inflict on them, then they have to explain, they have to do, they have to do the exact thing back to you. Cancer is not a vengeful zodiac sign by nature. They really just do it to get what they want, honestly, because cancers are selfish. Cancers are very selfish. They, they manipulate to get what they want, not what you want. 
But when you make cancer go there on purpose, like, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it, it wouldn't have been me. But if you do that to cancer, like, I'm not saying you deserved it, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying, I just want you to be very careful with that level three. And you really have to, you really have to do it. So I don't think you need to be careful. No regular person is going to try to trigger somebody that they like on purpose. Like, that's the psychopathic. So I don't think you would ever do it. But if you do, yeah. No, because cancer wants you to feel exactly how you made them feel. Sometimes it's with a knife. Sometimes it's with it. Like if you, st if they felt like you stabbed them in the chest, cancer may just stab you in the chest for real. <laughs> for real, because you need to, you need to feel that pain, and then they'll see it in your eyes that you felt the pain, and then cancer will go back to normal. Um, I could do two questions about cancer, and then let's go to the next zodiac sign. Two questions about cancer. <laughs> um, why are cancers so selfish are cancers gullible okay two questions perfect so why cancer would be selfish is simply the fact that it's what they want it's what they want cancers are natural parent zodiac signs so they already feel like they've they've raised children even when cancer wasn't even old enough to have children cancer already felt like they raised children because everybody around them cancer was always trying to make sure that they're okay and stuff like that so once cancer gets of mature age they get into this time zone in their head where they feel it's their time. It's time to live for them. The kids have left the house. It's time for cancer to finally do things they've always wanted to do. And cancer would be like 18. They'd be like 18. They'd be like, they finally trying to live life. You know, cancer always living life like they, ha like they had a midlife crisis. Cancer always moving like they had a midlife crisis. So when they are making decisions, especially on your behalf in a relationship, it's because they're selfish because they feel they deserve it. They deserve it. Cancer worked for it. <laughs> they they work for it. So that's why they're being so selfish. They feel like they've lived it's in the midlife crisis time. They really need to turn their life around or else. And Cancer's life barely started. But that's why they would be selfish. For sure. Um, cancers are never satisfied. <laughs> okay. Um, are cancers gullible? I don't think cancers are gullible. I feel like cancers are willingly looking the other way. That's what I feel about cancer. I feel like cancer is very smart. Cancer is very intuitive. Cancers, you know, they be feeling things deeper than other zodiac signs. I know cancer knows what's going on. I feel like cancer is willingly being obtuse. I do. I feel like cancer, cancer, you knew not to go in that house. You knew not to go in that house. Something was a gut feeling, cancer. You shouldn't go in that house. You went in that house, though. You went in that house. You, you It's a choice you made, cancer. Okay, karma be so mean to you, cancer. Karma be so mean to you. Karma is swift, cancer. When cancer does something, karma is definitely on you like, like a fly, like easily. But no, I feel like cancer, like they willingly do it. You know, cancer's a little dumb sometimes. Cancer be, they're a little dumb, okay? <laughs> they're a little dumb. Okay, on to the next zodiac sign. It's time to do Libra. It's time to do Libra. Let's talk about Libra's triggers and how you could properly implement them to, you know, make yourself a better partner for Libra. So Libras are zodiac signs that try not to be triggered. Libras are the only zodiac signs that try not to have no triggers at all. Libras are the only zodiac signs that try to work on themselves where they have no triggers at all. And I like really applaud Libra for that because they're trying to work on themselves in that way. Always trying to balance out everything. But unfortunately, it's a flaw. It's a flaw. Libra trying not to have any triggers is a flaw because it leaves something empty in Libra where a trigger is going to form anyway. What Libra should have did was recognize what their triggers originally were and just try to hone in on them and make it to where the triggers don't affect them like they used to. But that's not how Libra does it. And I feel like, you know, it, it backfires because what Libra is not worried about 
they're naturally worried about, you know, at the at the most random times. What used to trigger Libra doesn't trigger Libra anymore, but now a new trigger has formed out of nowhere. And now Libra has to make sure that that's not a trigger for them anymore. And then another trigger happens. It's like Libra, you know, they showing up like, like pimples on your face, Libra, calm down. You know, Libra's stressing out and they not understanding that this is a new trigger of theirs and they really stressing out about it. And the rest of us are looking at Libra like it's not that big of a deal, but it is to Libra. But we didn't know Libra to freak out about something like that. So we think Libra's going crazy or something like that. But it's really just Libra, you know, realizing that there's more to, to the story. And it doesn't help that Libra's an indecisive zodiac sign. So they're, they're really not making sure that the trigger fully went away. They're not focused on it and stuff. Like you, Libra could be mad at you. Libra could be mad at you. They be mad at you for, you know, all of two days. And then Libra's not mad at you no more because they don't have the time. They don't have the time. Libra gets so mad, they forget why they mad at you. They be like, oh, what, what am I mad at you about? You be like, I don't know Libra. And then they'll start laughing and be like, oh, okay. And then they'll go on about their day and be happy and be happy. So when it's time for Libras to focus on <laughs> So when it's time for Libras to focus on triggers, they don't focus on triggers long enough either. Yeah. I like that Libras try, but it's like Libra. 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 I need you, I need you to focus. I need you to focus. I need you to focus, Libra. That's all I want you to do. Just focus. Just embrace it, Libra. Embrace it. You could, you're you're a good person, Libra. But at the same time, bad things are going to happen to you just like they happen to the rest of the Zodiac sign. Just like the rest of the Zodiac signs, Libra. You can't escape all of the triggers, Libra. You can't escape them. Um, okay, I could do two questions about Libra. And let's move on to the next Zodiac sign. Um, Libras start a lot of crap and then run away. I believe it. Yeah. Libra likes to throw rocks and hide their hands. They do that very effortlessly. Um, why do Libras not respond to messages? Libras don't respond to messages because Libra is one of the zodiac signs who, you know, they always have stuff going on. Libras always have stuff going on. You ask Libra to clean their room. You ask Libra to clean their room. The way Libra will find an item in their room that they've been looking for forever and then just start playing with that item and start being really fascinated with the item and their room didn't get cleaned. And their room didn't get clean. Like, that's Libra. Libra is one of the zodiac signs where they really need to focus. So if you are going to text Libra, I might as well just call them. I might as well just call them because that text may just go into the phone and Libra will see it for two seconds. Oh, I'm going to text you back and then not text you back. <laughs> and then not text you back. Oh, a fly. Like Libra will, Libra will look at how it's such a nice day outside and then they'll forget to text you because it's such a nice day outside. Call Libra. Call Libra. You dealing with one of the most indecisive zodiac signs. Libra will want to text you and be like, should I text you right now or should I text you later? And then get caught up in the fact that they're, they don't know if they want to text you now or later yet. That's what you want to do. So just text Libra. I mean, call Libra. That's all you got to do, okay? That's not true. I'm a great texter as a Libra. Okay, but Libra, you in a minority pile, Libra. Okay, a lot of Libras, they don't be texting like that. They're very good FaceTime calling. Like, you be texting Libra, they gonna call you. They gonna call you. They very, the Libra's very good on the phone, though. Very good on the phone. Um, they don't want to talk at the moment. Understood. What would trigger Libra easily? So, what would trigger Libra, um, say that Libra's fake. Say that Libra's fake. Unfortunately, Libra is fake. They are. But say that Libra's fake. That would trigger Libra, Libra very easily because one thing about Libra is they try to keep it real as much as they can. They try to keep it real as much as they can, but say that Libra's fake. Be like, Libra, you're fake. I'm getting fake vibes from you, Libra. I feel like you're moving weird, Libra. I don't understand why you do certain things, Libra. The way Libra is stunned, they will be too stunned to speak. Libra be so mad. Libra be so mad. Libra do be fake sometimes, though. They do. <laughs> they do. But say that they're fake. That'd be the easiest way to trigger them. 
Um, you're new to the live stream. Is this where you ask questions? Yes, just um, I'm going live on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. So there's three different phones in front of my face right now. That's why you see me looking to the side. So unfortunately, I may not be able to answer your question, but you can still type it in the comments. But yeah, like there's like three of you guys here. So there's a homeless man staring at me. As long as he don't get too close to the car. As long as the homeless man don't get too close to the car. Should I lock the doors? Let me lock the doors. Let me lock the doors, because he's staring real hard. Okay, <laughs> okay, let me focus. So let's do Scorpio. It's time to do Scorpio. It's time to do Scorpio. Sorry, I was, I was looking. You know, we can take him, we can take him. Y'all got my back? Y'all got my back, we can take him. Y'all go watch me. Make sure I'm good. Keep a lookout for me. If you pop up to the car. <laughs> okay, so Scorpio. Let's talk about Scorpio's triggers. Scorpio is one of those zodiac signs that don't want to tell you their triggers. Scorpios are very selfish zodiac signs. They're very selfish. Very selfish. Scorpios are not going to tell you their triggers because they feel like that's giving you ammo. That's like letting you know one of their weaknesses. And you're going to do it to hurt Scorpio on purpose. Scorpios are very... You know, they don't Scorpios don't play fair. Scorpios don't play fair. And so when it comes to Scorpio's triggers, you just have to trigger Scorpio and find out. You just have to trigger Scorpio and find out. Uh-oh, TikTok, it looks like it's lagging. I'm so sorry, TikTok. Um, Instagram, just one second. Facebook, just one second. I'm sorry, TikTok. It looks like it's lagging. I apologize. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Fudge. Okay, let me just continue because we're almost done. Because we're almost done. But yeah, Scorpios are one of the zodiac signs that are going to be triggered and not tell you. Scorpios are just going to flip out on you. And a lot of times when you trigger Scorpio, even though you didn't mean to, even though you didn't mean to, Scorpio is going to treat you as if, Scorpio is going to treat you as if you tried to trigger them on purpose. Scorpio is going to trigger you. Scorpio is going to act like you triggered them like you did it on purpose. Scorpio is actually one of the zodiac signs that take their triggers very seriously because Scorpios don't heal properly. Scorpios don't heal properly. When Scorpio is triggered, a lot of zodiac signs, it takes them a few days, maybe a week to recover from being triggered. It takes Scorp like Scorpio has to go to the emergency room when they're triggered. <laughs> Scorpio has to go to the... Oh, good night. Scorpio has to go to the emergency room when they're triggered because of how harsh and how hard it hits them in the face. It hits them in the face. Like, Scor some Scorpios, they don't heal at all. Scor some Scorpios don't heal at all. Like, if Scorpio is one of those cartoon characters, if Scorpio was a cartoon character, you just know Scorpio was that cartoon character with the eye patch, with the eye patch. Or if they did, if their eye was showing, it has like that scar right here. That scar right here. That's Scorpio. In the cartoon, that's Scorpio. Okay, you just know something was going on with Scorpio. Is Scorpio acting like they're normal? Like they just blend into the rest of the characters? Like they just look like a regular character? No, Scorpio. We see this. We see the eye patch, Scorpio. What happened? And then Scorpio trying to act like nothing happened, like nothing's wrong? <laughs> Yeah, Scorpio is one of those zodiac signs where, like, they just take triggers so bad. And, like, you can see that Scorpio has been visibly shaken. And Scorpio, oh, there's nothing that's wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with me. Scorpio's tr trying to be strong to the end. It's like, Scorpio, oh, my God. Scorpio, if you don't go to therapy, if you don't go to therapy, Scorpio... I just, I just feel, I just want more for Scorpio. I want more. I want more. <laughs> normal isn't for scorpio i agree i agree scorpio has no accountability well well i believe scorpio has some accountability sometimes <laughs> but no that is how scorpio handles triggers they handle it very bad i think scorpio is the worst zodiac sign when it comes to triggers because the way scorpio will blow up on you as if you did it on purpose 
a lot of the zodiac signs understand that you triggered them by accident but the way that scorpio would feel like you did it on purpose and come for you as if you did as if you did that's my problem with scorpio okay um i could do two questions about scorpio and then let's move on to the next zodiac sign i could do two questions about scorpio Scorpio said, we do apologize if we are found to be wrong. Come through, Scorpio. Clear the rumors, Scorpio. Clear the rumors. Oh, another Scorpio just said, I don't feel like I do anything wrong. <laughs> um, Why does Scorpio lie? Where's the homeless guy? That's a good question. I don't see him. I don't see him. We good, y'all. The coast is clear. <laughs> No, because some of the whole, they be walking up to the window, like, really angry. Like, maybe I'm in their sleeping area or something. I'll move the car. Like, I don't want, I don't want to, like, block their sleeping area. I want them to get some sleep, but they really be coming up to the car. Um, why Scorpio would lie would simply be because they feel like you don't deserve the truth. You saying that he's right behind me? You gonna get blocked. You gonna get blocked. Um, just Scorpio just feels like you don't deserve the truth. That's what it is. Scorpios feel like you don't deserve the truth. And they feel like it's better that you didn't know. A lot of times Scorpios withhold the truth from you. They feel like they, they, you know, Scorpio, but like, I told you an untruth. Really, they told you a lie. No, I told you an untruth. I feel like you just didn't see the severity of the, situa the situation from my end. I feel like when it came to the story, like they really talk to you like a lawyer. Scorpio really turns into a whole lawyer, a whole defense attorney when it comes to their lying. Because you just, you just didn't see the full picture. They told you what you needed to hear. You just didn't put the pieces together. <laughs> you just didn't put the pieces together. That's what that was. That's what that was. You wasn't wise. You weren't wise because they told you enough. They told you enough. Scorpio will be the zodiac sign that would give you eye contact and that'll be like a whole bunch of sentences and you just must have understood what they were trying to tell you with their eyes only. With their eyes only. Um, let me see. Scorpios only tell you part of the truth. According to, Scor according to Scorpio, a part of the truth is still the truth. That's Scorpio's logic. A part of the truth is still the truth. What's understood don't got to be explained. <laughs> um, are Scorpios dangerous? Well, I wouldn't say that Scorpios are... I can't say that Scorpios are not dangerous. Scorpios, they're very jealous. Scorpios are a very jealous and possessive zodiac sign. They're very jealous and possessive. I know Scorpios that have kidnapped people's pets and wouldn't release their pet to them unless they drop their location. You need to drop your location. And you can hear on the other end of the phone that your pet is in danger. Your pet is squeaking or something. And Scorpio, where are you? Drop your... <laughs> your pet on the other end, like, save me. And you need to drop your location first. Yeah, Scor yeah Scorpio really wants you and they feel like you cheated on them or they feel like you not you somewhere you're not supposed to be. Something gonna have to give. Your pet goldfish missing. Okay, you thought pet goldfish died. Nope. If you want to see your pet goldfish again, let me see that location. <laughs> okay, I'm feeding the goldfish flakes. You know that goldfish don't eat those flakes. So they're not gonna survive for much longer. Okay, they not gonna... Got the wrong fish food. Uh-oh. Um... <laughs> okay, so I can do... Okay, we did two questions. Okay. So it's time to do Aquarius. It's time to do Aquarius. So um, let's talk about Aquarius's triggers and how we manage those triggers. So Aquarius is one of the zodiac signs where I have to give props to Aquarius because this is where them not using emotions comes in handy. Because Aquarius thinks about their triggers and they really embrace their triggers. Aquarius are one of the only zodiac signs that don't let their triggers get in the way of how they feel about a certain situation. They'll deal with it later. And I love that about Aquarius. I love that about Aquarius. 
Um, Aquarius is one of the only zodiac signs where you don't really have to worry about their triggers at all. Unfortunately, you do have to worry about Aquarius triggering you. <laughs> you have to worry about Aquarius triggering you because Aquarius actually finds fascination in triggering you because it helps them learn about you like you're a lab animal, like you're a, like you're a lab rat. Like they love triggering you. Oh, why did that make you mad? Why, why are you crying? Like Aquarius is bad. They're bad in that regard. But when it comes to themselves, they definitely handle it right. Like I love that for Aquarius. I love that for Aquarius. But when it comes to your mental health, when it comes to triggering you, oh, everything out the window. If you need to cuss Aquarius out, do it because they'll just find it more fascinating. Oh, why did that make you mad? Why are you mad at me? Why did what I say hurt your feelings? No one is going to hurt your feelings. No, they just want a conversation out of you. They want a conversation. They want a confession. Um, but no, Aquarius, they're very good when it comes to... I understand that you understand emotions, Aquarius, but you definitely don't really utilize them in the real world. Okay, every time I say Aquarius don't have emotions, Aquarius, oh, we have emotions, we have emotions, no other zodiac sign coming forward with that information. Every time I'm on the phone, Aquarius, every time I'm on the phone, first thing somebody says, they don't have emotions. I literally said that you are their AI partner, Aquarius. You are their certified AI partner. You just got human skin, but you really AI, Aquarius. That's what you are. Um... <laughs> But no, when it comes to Aquarius and their triggers, they definitely handle their triggers very well. Not too much on Aquarius there. Um, you just have to worry about the fact that they're going to trigger you. And that's about it. That's about it. I like, I like Aquarius in that regard. Um, I could do two questions about Aquarius and then let's go to the next zodiac sign. Oh, hi. How are you? I hope that you're doing good today. Um, Aquarius are the fakest. Is this going to be posted on YouTube? Yes, I'm going to post this on YouTube right after we're done. And then I'm going to put the list in order from the first Zodiac sign I talked about to the last Zodiac sign I talked about. I'm going to put it in order in the description of the video. Um, <laughs> Why are Aquarius... <laughs> you do not like Aquarius. Why are Aquarius fake? Oh, so y'all think Aquarius are fake? I didn't think Aquarius were fake. You guys think Aquarius are fake? Okay. Well, Aquarius, I'm sorry. I didn't think you was fake, Aquarius, but they want to know. So I'm going to give it, I'm gonna have to give an answer. Uh, so, <laughs> so when it comes to Aquarius being fake, it's really just because Aquarius feels, oh no, Aquarius can be fake. Aquarius can be fake. They can. They can. Aquarius can be fake and why Aquariuses are fake is for monetary and self-fulfillment gains. Aquarius will be your friend because they know that you know somebody that they really want to connect with. And once Aquarius finally connects with that person, they stop being your friend because they never really want it to be. They never really want it to be. Aquarius can be very fake when it comes to their personal needs and what they want out of life. Like Aquarius is one of those survival of the fittest type of things. They definitely, yeah, if Aquarius wants that certain position, they will flirt with you. They will talk about how they want to be in a relationship with you to get that position. And then they won't, you know, they won't be with you no more. And then they'll take the corporate route that, oh, we can't be, we're working together. We can never be together in the workplace. Like, they definitely do that. They definitely do that. I forgot. I forgot. I was about to defend you, Aquarius. Like, Aquarius is not fake. Don't do it. No, Aquarius, they could definitely be fake. I apologize. Yep. Yep. Aquarius is fake. They can be fake. Mm hmm Especially when it comes to what they want. Especially when it comes to what they want. We're just stepping stones for Aquarius. Exactly. Exactly. We're stepping stones for Aquarius. <laughs> um, what would trigger Aquarius? I'm curious. Um, you have to say that Aquarius never really thought about you. Because Aquarius is the most open-minded zodiac sign. To trigger Aquarius, you have to talk about how Aquarius never really thought about you. How Aquarius never really considered how you felt. Because one thing Aquarius does is they think about the whole situation in its entirety. 
t- say that Aquarius is very closed minded. They never really think about the big picture. Say that they're very narrow minded and stuff like that. That are really upset Aquarius because Aquarius loves intellectual conversations. Talk about how Aquarius can't really ha- hold a conversation. Aquarius is very short sighted. Because, <laughs> no, like say that to Aquarius. That'll really make Aquarius upset. Because all Aquarius really wants to do is understand things. And if you're saying that they're not really understanding things properly or they don't have the capacity to understand things, that'll really upset Aquarius. Because now you call Aquarius stupid. You're basically calling Aquarius stupid. (laughs) Okay, you basically call Aquarius stupid. They're not going to stand for that. Thank you so much for the gift. I really, really appreciate it. Um, But yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, you guys. Let me do my commercial break one more time. Hi, my name is Mari. I do personal astrology readings. If you would like when we got on the phone together, I could do your birth chart for you or could do a video just like this for you. The link of my, the links in my bio on my profile for a video, for a video, sorry. For a reading, for a reading. I, I messed up my lines. Okay, you guys, a commercial break's over and so is the live stream. We've been live for an hour and 30 minutes. I did all of your zodiac signs. It's going to be in my YouTube um tiktok to find my youtube it's literally the youtube button on my profile tiktok to go to my youtube page instagram it's going to be on my um instagram story um facebook is going to be on my facebook story so if you guys want to watch the full video in its entirety if you missed your zodiac sign this is being recorded and i hope that you guys enjoy it later if you want to i'm going to chop it up and give you guys a few previews except tiktok I can't post any YouTube videos on TikTok because TikTok is shady and they demonetize me if I post any YouTube videos. Uh, Instagram, I'm going to post some YouTube videos. Facebook, I'm going to post some YouTube videos. TikTok, you just got to see it on YouTube because the moment I post something that looks like it's supposed to be on YouTube, TikTok shuts my whole account down. None of my content is being seen by anybody because TikTok gets so mad at me. But... It's been fun. It's been a pleasure. I'll talk to you guys later. Whew. Gotta go. Thank you guys so much for the gifts. I really appreciate it.